Welcome back everybody. Um, this is my Husqvarna. It's the YTH18542. Um, has a 42 inch cut deck. And I think in one of my videos about it before I said something about all this debris being down around the spindles and stuff. And you can see how loose that belt is. Not sure why that belt is loose. We got something going on around down there. Today when I was cutting the grass, um, when I was about right over there, almost done, I started hearing a squealing. And it, the, there's always been a vibration, so I don't think something has ever been right with this deck to begin with. But um, it started squealing today, so I think one of the bearings is burnt up. It didn't squeal much, but it did squeal. So we're going to go ahead, since it's the end of the year, it's uh, October. We're going to go ahead and service this deck so it'll be ready for next year. And uh, we'll do a few videos on servicing the mower for the winter and getting it ready for spring next year. We'll, we'll probably still use it around here hauling stuff and things like that because I have a trailer um, that I can hook to the back right there and uh, haul stuff around. So let's take a look at this and see because I've never worked on one but uh, I want to see how we take this off and work on it. I know first thing we're probably going to have to do is lower the deck all the way down to the ground. Put it on number one there. And you can see it's sitting on the ground. There's not much debris on here because I've been cleaning it off, but it doesn't seem to matter. I think the blades may also be warped. Um, looking at this belt here. See how loose that thing is? Is it supposed to be that loose? Hell, I don't know. But anyway, let's see. Everything seems to be okay. I know we're supposed to take this pin out that holds up the front end. Um, there's a pin here that holds up this bar here that holds up the back end. And there's also one on the other side. And you're going to take this pin loose. I'm not sure if there's one on that side or not. Looks like there might be. That goes to the, the um, level handle there. So we're going to take those out. And then loosen the belt from the front pulley and it should slide right out so, let's see what we can get done here real quick uh, all right, let's see set you right there for right this minute from what i understand you can take a screwdriver and stick it right in here pick up on this and it walks it right off like that. It's loose. It's got to wiggle it. <laughs> there. You don't want to lose these. See? Alright. Let's see what else we got here. Yeah, this one's the opposite way. So you stick the screwdriver in here. Pry it apart. And it walks it off. See? That comes down and it walks it off. Alright, and that should come off. There we go. And then we got one up here in the front. Everybody says this is the hardest one, so let's see how hard this one is going to be. Put you over here. Stick it on there and pry it up. Oh, that wasn't too bad, huh? Get that washer off of there. Okay. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Let's go to the other side. my channel locks in case I need them. But that one being the worst one, if that's going to be the case, we'll, we'll have an easy go with this, huh? 
I shouldn't say that. I'm jinx myself. All right. There's one there. And there's one there. There's also a cable we're going to have to take loose. drag it out but there's a cable and it comes in from the other side so let's go over there and have a look okay you can just grab it down slide it out like this and don't forget to do what I did just now and forget to unhook the belt up there I'm gonna have to do that but right here that's where the cable hooks to. It's got a little tab on it. You want to squeeze it. Probably easier with needle nose. Anyway, I'll show you from the side here. want to squeeze that little tab on the bottom there and it should pop right out. Okay, I got that out. And then the spring hooks over here. Unhook that from the deck. Well, that took it up on play. Alright. I need to remember that that comes from up here and wraps around. Alright, let's slide it back under and unhook the belt now. really easy you just unhook it from around the pulley and then there's hooks right there I don't know if you see that that's a hook one on each side just slip the belt out of that hook and the whole thing should come right out just like that. easy peasy alright See, these don't have greasers. Um, most of them have a greaser on the top. These don't have it. Got our brakes on here. Let's see. Push the brake off. Can't push the brake off. Um, you're gonna have to get that brake off. The brake might be the problem. You see right here? It's digging into the brake shoe right there. That could be the problem. Let's see. Maybe. Anyway, let me go get a tripod and I'll set you up. We'll, we'll take a look at it. Alright, I got you on a tripod now. Let's see what we got going on here. Alright, uh, this is the brake. Let me take the brake off. This brake didn't come loose. There it goes. Alright, right, loosen the belt here. Hear that grinding? That's not good. It's probably the one that's bad. The um, pillars are supposed to have a greasing nipple right here, and it, they don't have one on these. And I do not feel one 
or C1 for that matter on the post itself. So they were not meant for you to grease. Let's see. That one don't sound too bad. Let's put these here idler pulleys. They don't sound too bad. That brake pad is shot though. I guess that's what they're supposed to do. Let's see what the underside looks like. We're going to clean this up with the pressure washer. Get all this out of here. So you can't really get up in here to this. To get it out with it underneath there. I've tried even with the pressure washer and leaf blower. But um, yeah, that one's really tight. Now this is supposed to have tough arm and stuff underneath it, but I, I don't see it. What do you think? The blades are pretty war. Now the blades have always vibrated, I'm not sure why. You see the edges of them eat off right there, that's from sand I guess. I think I'm going to pressure wash, wash this. I might put some bed liner on it just to uh, toughen it up to keep the uh, elements from rusting it out because I don't want to rust out the deck. As long as you got a good solid deck, you can always rebuild it. You know? well, this part right here costs you a couple hundred bucks easy. But um, yeah, we're going to end up rebuilding this whole deck. hear that rattle the barons are bad on that side oh yeah that's what was squealing right there you feel a vibration in it this one's solid but you can still hear it I can feel it rattle and this one is completely shot feels like the bottom barons are shot yeah we're going to end up replacing that one for sure. All right, anyway, this is mainly a video about how to get the deck out. Um, there'll be another video on rebuilding all this. We're going to clean it up, take it apart. We're going to put some bed liner underneath it. And uh, we're going to make it right. We're going to put in new um, pillars. And uh, we're going to grease these up make it like brand new again it'll run better than it ever run before because it it run like crap to begin with i complained about it from day one that it vibrated and uh lowe's nor husqvarna pooling or whatever you want to call them none of them want to do anything about it but uh we're gonna fix it i've had it this is the second year i've had it it made it through two seasons that's it so when you get them if you don't have the uh, greasing fittings on top of the pillars, you might as well go ahead and order your set to rebuild your deck because you're going to need them. And it might pay in the long run, might pay for you immediately if you go ahead and do it to begin with. That way you can get in there and grease them real good. Anyway, that's how you pull the deck out from underneath the... Um, Husqvarna YTH 18542 and this is the 42 inch cut. See right there? It says armor protected. Did you see any armor underneath there? <laughs> I didn't. Anyway, thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for the next video.